you say you tried to come to an agreement. What was the basis of that agreement? The... How much were you to be paid? £300. How long was the trip? Ten days. Ten days. And full accommodation, food, costume. What about insurance and that sort of thing? That wasn't discussed. I had travel insurance. I think the other girls did. Okay. I'm only here to claim what was promised to us, and that was £300 minimum. It was never Ch pounds. Be it was euros. Be quiet. Breaking a rule. Sorry. From the beginning, the pay was ambiguous. I was told initially it would be around £700. Then, um, during the weeks... Over here. During the, I beg your pardon. During the, the weeks that subsequently to that, um, the amount dwindled and it ended up netting out to £300 each. And this is the point, and I can see why. Francis is in discussions, and they're sort of fluid, with hotels and casinos, and he's trying to get money, some, what I'm going to call sponsorship for these events, but it's more than that, contracts for you, the dancers. But people in Madeira are being, I'm not suggesting this is a Madeiran quality, yes, come, it'll be wonderful, but getting through to the person that says, yes, Francis, I'm going to pay you this, and here is our contract, that sort of thing is very difficult to get. You're dealing with promises and that sort of thing. So he was less than clear before all of you got on the plane as to the exact amount you would receive. What you had was a general sense of what you would be paid, correct? Up to a point, but when it came to £300, that was a definite. How was that communicated to you? That was communicated verbally. We asked for it in writing, but it wasn't forthcoming. I wasn't aware of a contract. Over here. I wasn't aware of a contract. OK. 